What's up guys, it's Ryan here, and today I'm here with the LG G4 with official, official, not custom ROM, an official Android 7.0 update for the LG G4. So I'm going to do an overview of the new update, show you the new features and stuff like that, and your new look, see if you see if you have to upgrade it and stuff like that, so let's get through it. So first of all, the lock screen, there's not much, you know, there's pretty much no changes. Uh, the clock looks a little bit different, looks a little bit more bland, to be honest. It has been getting bland, though. Uh, you can see there's a variety of lock screen animation, you already know that. Uh, you can see the home screen is pretty much the same, it's a little bit more modernized. Uh, so icons a little bit different. Overall, a little bit smoother, actually it's a lot smoother, but I'm gonna get to that a little later. See the notification shade, looks a lot like, or pretty much the same as, the LG G6 or something like that, with the Nougat updates and stuff like that. So swipe once to get to the toggles and brightness controls. That actually kind of bugs me a little bit, because on the last screen there's no way to change the brightness. So that's kind of lame, but anyway, you, can, you, can, you get the toggles, the date and the brightness toggles, and swipe one more, once more, rather, get to more toggles and settings. And you can see it looks quite a bit different from the marshmallow. Marshmallow was like bluish, stuff like that. This is this is basically like the LG G5 with the white UI and stuff like that. I actually kind of like it. It doesn't go well with the black bezels. It kind of looks a little bit too contrasty. Uh, so for those of you who think there should be a black interface, there is an option for you. There's a built-in theme here. So let's get to that. Okay. Yeah, there you go. So it looks a lot more dark. It fits the display, oh, sorry, the bezels much, much more. It looks a lot better, in my opinion at least. Also, blacks uh, in the notification drawer and stuff like that. In the settings, of course, it's all black, which is really nice because it blends with the phone more. And of course, let's go to the software info and get to the Android 7.0 with June security update. So that's pretty. That's fine, I guess. That's okay. Not the latest, but that's fine. And also, you can see, you know, features, there was almost no change, unfortunately. The only thing that I'm glad about this phone uh, with Nougat is multitasking. That's probably the biggest, you know, headliner feature of the Android 7.0. It's the fact that multitasking is so easy uh, to do. A lot, a lot more apps are compatible now compared to the LG's. Uh, older multi-window stuff where you didn't have that much options, but now you have a button of options uh, Curiously though, there's no option for settings uh, Which is available on stock Android, but I guess it's up to LG to choose. So let's say YouTube and Say I want to get uh, uh, Chrome or something like that. That's the, this is probably the most common example uh, with that, so you, know, you can browse the web and stuff like that while watching YouTube and stuff, which is really nice. I do like you know, the way, the fact that you can do this. You know, it was a lot worse in Marshmallow, but now now that you have this capability, it is awesome. Also, you can resize it, stuff like that. Really nice. And overall performance, performance is the biggest story with this update, alongside the LG V10, which has the same processor that received Nougat in April. V10 got super fast, and you might be asking, how about the LG G4? Is it super fast? Yes, it's stinking crazy fast. This is the number one reason of why you should update to the Android 7.0. Even scrolling, I'm. this is a video, so in 30 frames per second, so it's not going to represent the full performance, but like, take my word from it, uh, take my word from me, it is so fast. Loading times are like twice as fast as in Marshmallow. I mean, it's super fast. Uh, honestly, it's just so fast. It's one step ahead, one step ahead of me all the time. Uh, when there was where there was lag in notification center in Android Marshmallow, that, that's all but gone. Loading times are super fast. Say open Play Store. It's a lot faster, at least faster than Marshmallow. YouTube is notably faster though. You see loading time is almost as fast, or just as fast as the LG G4, uh, sorry, the LG V10 and even the Moto X Pre Edition. 
eBay a little substantially faster as you can tell it's a really 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 fast uh, you know, user interface I absolutely never encountered a single lag believe it or not in this user interface which is surprising Marshmallow was a bit of a pain in the butt in terms of performance it was really slow for me I'm actually turning down the brightness so you can better better yeah that's what looks the same you know, in Marshmallow, I encountered a lot of performance issues. You know, it was stuttery, drop frames all over the place. But Marshmallow, sorry, the new get update is just so silky smooth. I wish you can guy, I wish you guys can see uh, the actual phone running this, because this is this thing is super fast. Unfortunately, it is not available through the phone itself. You have to go go through the LG Bridge, LG Bridge software through the computer, uh, and get updates through that. And I believe the H815, the global version, has received it, and also the Korean versions. The Korean version, the F500 models, received it in, uh, I believe it was on July of, uh, July 18th. Uh, so that's really early. Now I just wanted to give you a late review because I wanted to uh, see if there's any bugs, and honestly I haven't found any bugs whatsoever. Initially, it was a little bit buggier. Uh, sorry, the battery life. Uh, I have to charge it right now. Initially, there was a bit of a bug, uh, but now it's all fine. Performance is so fast. You know, there's absolutely nothing to complain about in terms of performance on the LG G4 with NuGet. Um, yeah, because as you can see, it's so fast. I wish you can get. I wish you, it's almost like 60 frames per second. It is actually 60 frames per second. It's so smooth, so silky fast. Loading apps, I don't know, it's just so fast. It's un unbelievably fast. I mean, if you update your phone to Android 7.0 NuGet, you'll see what I mean. <laughs> so super fast. So that's pretty much it in, uh, when it comes to the overall features of Android 7.0. I mean, all the higher, higher end features. I mean, they ne never really got uh, their way to the LG G4, which is unfortunate. There's no fingerprint sensor, of course. Yeah. But overall, for the performance alone, this is worth upgrading. I mean, overall speed is so fast. It's just a lot of fun uh, using this phone uh, with Android 7.0 NuGet. So go update your phone right now, and you'll never just you'll you won't be disappointed at all. All my friends with the LG G4 with NuGet said that they're super happy they're going to use it for a couple of years uh, more which is pretty insane they didn't say that with marshmallow so that's about it guys uh, in terms of that hope you guys enjoyed this and well if you like this video give me a like if you just like this video give me a dislike and you, if you want to see more videos like this definitely be sure to subscribe so anyway guys peace out